Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some tranquil conditions across the region this morning. Seeing mostly sunny skies across the area. Temperatures chilly for this time of year. It is the first day of spring starting out into the mid-20s. Going to see temperatures rise today into the mid-upper 40s across the peninsula. We'll see light winds in general, so a really nice day across the region other than the slightly cooler than normal temperatures. Taking a look at our Sounding from this morning, freezing level was uh, 100 feet. We see our winds out of the north, around 15 knots at low levels, and becoming northwesterly, and light between six and 9,000 feet, then increasing with some speed shear between 20 and 25,000 feet as winds increase out of the southwest from 65 to 111 knots. Our current surface analysis, we have an area low pressure well off the southeast coast, high pressure dominating our weather pattern. That's gonna give us some nice conditions today into tomorrow as well. And taking a look at our current satellite imagery, you can see lots of cloud coverage across the coastal Carolinas this morning, but across our region, most of the clear skies, that's going to be the case for today. And taking a look at the European model for the next few days, here's Tuesday afternoon. You can see high pressure remaining in control. We'll have more serious cloudiness for tomorrow afternoon, so a bit of filtered sunshine. Then Wednesday, we'll see a, a weak boundary kind of across the area. It's going to give us a slight chance of some sprinkles or light rain showers on Wednesday. And then for Thursday, we'll see another boundary across the area. Could possibly give us a sprinkle during the morning hours, and that boundary will shift off to the north for Thursday afternoon, giving us some mild conditions to warm conditions for Thursday as well as some breezy uh, weather. We we'll move into our Friday. We'll see possibility of a backdoor cold front moving through for Friday afternoon, uh, but should see some warm conditions for the first half of Friday before this backdoor cold front slides to the area, uh, cooling us off for later Friday afternoon into the evening hours. We'll also see a slight chance of some sprinkles or a light rain shower with that back door cold front moving through. But right now it looks like unlikely that we see uh, much rainfall with that system. Then for Saturday, it looks like our next rainmaker across the area, we'll see that warm front move north of the region Saturday morning. We'll see a cold front push through for Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. Uh, could also see some instability build across the region on Saturday, so could see some thunderstorms uh, with this system moving through as we'll have some warm air in the region as well as that air low pressure moving through, so can't rule out an isolated thunderstorm with the rainfall moving through for Saturday afternoon and evening hours. And moving to Sunday, looks like good conditions across the region. High pressure builds back in the area uh, with uh, temperatures about seasonal for this time of year. So looking at our risk chart for today, green chart across the board, high around 47 degrees today, low tonight around 30. Light winds in general today, I'm going to see those winds variable in less than five knots overnight. It should allow those temperatures to drop below freezing. Uh, for the daytime hours today, we'll see those winds uh, northerly and then becoming south, southerly, excuse me, around five to ten knots, and then southwesterly during the late afternoon. So uh, winds light in general, and they will be varying in direction throughout the day. So taking a look at our 24-hour tornado forecast, we'll see clear skies throughout much of the day today, and then just a scattered deck around 25,000 feet tomorrow morning. Our tides are running normal. I'm looking at Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday, we'll see partly cloudy skies, seasonal temperatures, a high of 57 degrees. Tuesday night, partly to mostly cloudy, low of 38. And for Wednesday, mostly cloudy, overcast, slight chance of a light rain shower. We'll see uh, slightly breezy winds as well during the afternoon hours. We'll see a high around 57 degrees, about a 20% chance of seeing that uh, light rain shower on Wednesday. In the next seven days, looking at uh, below normal temperatures today and then seeing more seasonable weather for Tuesday and Wednesday with temperatures in the mid uh, 70s, possibly upper 70s across the area, and we'll see a 20% chance of rain shower on Thursday as well uh, with uh, that warm front moving through there in the morning. Could see a sprinkle, but much warmer for Thursday, high of 69. Friday, high of 71 for that backdoor cold front moves through during the afternoon hours. We'll see a slight chance of some sprinkles or light rain showers in the afternoon, evening hours on Friday, and then looks like our best chance of rainfall next seven becomes uh, or it comes on Saturday at 60% uh, chance of thunderstorm as well. High around 68 degrees will be breezy on Saturday. And Sunday looks like uh, a nice day to wrap up the weekend. Uh, looks like mostly sunny skies, temperatures in the upper 50s, lower 60s across the area. So looks like a nice day to complete the weekend. But that'll complete the 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. Hope everybody has a great day today. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 8.15 at 10 a.m.